Hi, and welcome. Today, we'll dive into how you can create awesome architectural diagrams with D5 Render using its super handy section tools. We've got a model all prepped with materials assigned, ready to bring into D5. From there, it's a breeze to apply materials from D5 Asset Library. To get your environment just right, simply pick a preset from D5 Studio. Here's a quick tip to instantly hide any bare skyline, just pop in some backdrop planes. Next, let's add some lush natural vegetation using D5 Scatter. You can easily fine tune the position of your plant models right on the path. Now that our visualization is complete, we can move on to crafting those diagrams. First things first, you'll need to enable the section tool. Just go to Menu, Preference, Widget. You'll see two options, Section Plane and Section Cube. Section planes can automatically snap to your model's surfaces, like the ground or a wall. After enabling the Fill option, you can even fill those cross sections with a solid color or a custom pattern. For an extra touch of visual appeal, try activating the Affected by Light option. The Section Cube is a powerful three-dimensional tool you can easily adjust its location and size to cut out specific parts of a building, really showcasing the interior structure and how spaces relate. Try adding multiple section cubes to different areas of your building if you want to craft an exquisite diagram. Let's also place some characters and cars in those cutout areas to bring your diagram to life. If you're aiming for a more stylized look, just head over to the Effect panel, turn on the AO option, and fine-tune the exposure. You can increase the AO radius to enhance darkness in interior areas. Next up, enable the Outline Mode in the Background option. You'll want to set a white background and give your outline a black color. Be sure to enable individual inner contour and increase the outer line width to 100. This will really make the structure stand out. Alternatively, enable the AO and outline styles and turn off the background for a different look in this view. After you've exported your renderings in both outline, AO, and realistic styles, you can easily overlap them and add notes to create your very own unique diagrams. That completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.